Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the series of 30 days of automation and testing. In this video, we are going to talk about the what is test driven development with an example. We are going to talk about what the major benefits, disadvantages, sequence and steps and how to perform the TDD. I'm going to show you one practical example. And trust me guys, this is one of the topic which is important for your interviews, right? If you are uh, anyone who is preparing for interviews and they are going to ask about TDD, right? So I'm excited to show all the things. All right. So let's get started. All right. All right, guys. So let's start with a quick example. What is TDD, right? TDD is basically an iterative development process, right? So uh, what we do in here is that in TDD is that every iteration starts with a set of tests return for a new piece of functionality. So basically in a very simpler manner, if I say is that first you will prepare a series of test cases, right? You are not preparing the functionality of it. Let's take an example. You have a username that you want to validate, right? So this username uh, should be a should not contain spaces, should not contain any special characters, right? So these are test cases, right? It should be a valid username. Uh, basically, it contains only the uh, ABCD and all, right? Uh, and it should not contain special characters. It should not contain at the rate hash and something like this, right? So first thing is that you need you will prepare certain test cases. You will fail them. And after that, you will write the code according to it. And in the end, what you will have is that uh, you will have a test, which is basically driving your development effort. And in the end, you will have a particular function coded, which can handle all the test cases, right? It is one of the best way uh, to do development process, right? So test cases are created before the code is written. And TDD basically instruct the developers to write the new code only if that automated test that we are running is basically has failed, right? So uh, if you are not able to get it, let, uh, let's see in the example, uh, in the demo part, right? Before that, let's jump into what is uh, that main advantage of a TDD, right? So TDD, if you uh, if you have taken this development process, right? TDD, it, there will be like small regression suite. Uh, since we are doing tests first, so there will be a reduction in bugs, right? Because your tests are uh, basically your test, the test case that you have created are already handled into the code. Right, so there will be a reduction in box. That's why TD is so popular. Uh, TD is used to make the code clearer, simpler, with bug free. It avoids duplication, refactoring. Um, uh, basically, refactoring of code is improved because we have mapped the test cases with the uh, the functionality that we have written. TD drive the code design and approach. Uh, unit test case uh, are covered early, right? Because uh, most of the cases that we have already written, so unit test cases are covered in the early phase of it. So major disadvantage is that early test cases are heavy in maintenance because we are already creating a test case. Suppose I have created a 50 test cases and developed a functionality. Now the test case is failing or something bad is happening, right? Maintenance cost is high in that case. If the requirement are changing, test case will change, maintenance will change, development effort will change. So that is again very disadvantage in that case, right? So how do you do, uh, uh, how you perform the TDD? They are like sequence of steps that you need to do. First thing first is that you will read the requirement, you will add the test cases to it. And after that, you will run the test case and basically it will fail all those things. You will write the code to fix it. And after that, you will basically run the test again if they are passed or not. You will refactor your code and again, you will repeat the same process until your all test cases will pass and your functionality will be completed in that case. So how do we perform it? It's very simple. Add code, execute, write code, repeat. So this is a very simpler process, right? So let me show you practically what do you mean by this. So what I have done is that, let me show you. Uh, so if you click new project, uh, let's create a new Maven project. Click on Maven. From archetype, I will recommend you to start with quick archetype. Click next and the project will be created for you, right? So you will see two folder, which is the main folder where you will write your development code. Uh, in the test folder, you can write your test cases, right? So since it's a TDD, what you need to do is that uh, you need to write the test cases first. So what I have done is that, uh, so if you are, are uh, so what I have done is that I have created certain strings. So these are like certain test cases. So my first username will be Pramod Dutta with no, no spaces, right? This is a valid test case. Uh, with space, I don't want it because this is not uh, against the functionality, against the requirement. So this will be a failure case. I don't want at the rate, this will again be a failure case. Uh, this way, this is a negative, uh, again, you, 
under code is not allowed this is not allowed this is not allowed right and what i am doing here is that i am asserting the value right so this is the function that we we need to develop right so we have it developed it this is the test case that we have written so these are like couple of strings that we need to do so let's jump into it right uh, so before before doing it right uh, this is the function which was empty so let's suppose this was empty first right so all our test cases will fail so what i have done is that uh here if you see i have imported it right so you can import the function here we have imported the assert true and this function returns a uh, boolean value so it will result uh, we want to basically check for true always so if it is failing is a not a valid user it will fail and again our assertion will fail right so in tdd what we are doing here is that uh, ignore this part uh, we are calling the function right so uh, i am using this function and now what i am doing is that i am writing the conditions one by one so the first the first test case word it should be a valid string right so if it is a valid string will return true in that case so if the name which is the username if it contains slash we want to fail it because this is not a valid right it will return false in that case right and similarly if it contains hash if contains space will basically fail the test in that case now your test cases i have written the test case first and after the uh, i have written the implementation of this code right so now i can use this code somewhere if suppose i am developing a particular form and all right so here we have used a tdd approach where we have a test cases first and after that we have developed the functionality so this is the fu this function is now complete assuming it is complete as of now and what you can do is that you can run your test cases if all of test cases you are passing it means it's complete right so as you can see it is failing uh, so let's see how it, why it is failing for it and which one for it so right see yeah username one it is failing because space is not allowed right and here we have checked for it right it will return false in that case right so uh, we need what we are doing here is that uh, we are writing the functionality right so for at the rate it was failing uh, i have written name dot contain should be it will be if it should be a false one now again if i run it right it will fail for this one because uh, it will say that username 3 is underscore right uh, so let's add uh, the underscore also so now with the test case i am writing the code if you can see right so underscore if it contains i want to return false right and uh, these are the false test cases so i am just asserting the false in that case so uh yeah uh let's run it again so all the test cases are passed it means that our functionality is now complete right and uh, this is the function that we wanted to use so this is like a test driven development process right i hope you are able to grasp it it's a very simpler process uh and where you just add the test case first execute it whatever it is failing you write the code and you just repeat it right and you refactor the code again and again right thanks a lot for watching i hope you have learned something new in this video comment down below if you have learned something if you have any doubt i'll be happy to help you if you want to ask anything for me you can mail me at contact@theretestingacademy.com if you want to advance your career especially to do api testing i'll recommend you to go to learnapitesting.com definitely will help you in that case right thanks a lot for watching again i'll see you in the next video bye